celebrating 75 years of service to education balbharti public school access creating a database starting access 2016 you can start microsoft access 2016 to create or open a database file click on start button to open start menu a list of all installed apps appears on the left of start menu scroll down and click on access 2016 access start screen appears now you can create a new database or open an existing database creating a database using template you can create a new database using a template which includes pre-built tables and forms that you can use to fill your own data very easily click on template option a window will appear displaying the template information to view the previous or next template click on side arrows type a name for the database students in file name field access automatically assigns the dot accdb access database extension to all database files you can click on the browse button to find the folder or drive where you want to store the new file click on create access prepares a new database and a new table is ready for data a security warning appears to hide the warning and enable the macros in this template click enable content you can now fill the table by entering records in it opening a database file you can open a database file that you had previously created to continue entering data into it or analyzing its data in access start screen by default the access displays recently opened files if you see the file you want to open you can click it to open it and skip the rest of these steps click on open other files if some database is already open and you want to open another database then click on file tab the backstage view will appear click on open the backstage view appears click on browse the open dialog box will appear navigate to a different location if required click on the name of the file that you want to open click on open if a security alert bar appears click on enable content to hide the warning the database file opens project dance class database start table structure Students detail table Final report This project contains a database called dance class a table named students detail created in design view and finally a report of table Creating a blank database you can create a new database and fill data in it access prompts you to assign a name to the file when you create new database file click on the blank desktop database a window will appear displaying the information about blank template type a name for the database dance class in the file name field you can click on the browse button to find the folder or drive where you want to store the new file click on create access creates a new blank database and opens a new table now you can create your own tables by entering records in it the navigation pane displays database objects that you create such as tables forms queries and reports Creating a new table. In Access, you can create tables in two views, Datasheet view and Design view. Using Datasheet view, 
data sheet view is useful when you need to create a table quickly consisting of few fields. In this view, Access assigns general names to the fields such as field 1, field 2 and so on. You can create a table by adding new fields simply by typing the field names into the column heading placeholders. Open a database file and click on Create tab on the ribbon. Click on Table button. Access opens a new table in Datasheet view. Double click the column header to create a field name. Type a name student ID for the field. Press Enter key from keyboard. Click on Next column. Data type menu will appear. Select the data type for the field. For example, select short text if you want to add name field. Type a name for the field. Repeat steps 6 to 8 to create more fields for the table. You can resize a column by dragging column border left or right. Using Design View Open the database file and click on Create tab on the ribbon. Click on Table Design button. The Table 1 window appears in a Design view. Type Student ID the name of the first field in the Field Name column. Press the Tab key to bring the insertion point to Data Type field. The word Student ID is displayed in the Field Name column and the insertion point advances to the Data Type column, indicating that you can enter the data type. The word Short Text, one of the possible data types, is currently displayed. If you want to change the data type, click on the arrow button and change the data type according to your need. After selecting the data type, its properties will be displayed in the lower pane. After selecting the data type, press the tab key to move the insertion point to the description column. Description is optional. You can directly move to the field name column to enter next field name. Type your text in the description column. Press the tab key again to move to the field name column in the second row. Type the text name in field name column. Press the tab key to move to the data type column. The data type short text is currently displayed in that field. Press the tab key to move the insertion point to the description column if you want the data type to remain as short text. Type the text for the description column. Repeat steps 3 to 8 to make the remaining entries in the table to complete it. As per the project, table structure is done. Finish. Setting a primary key. A primary key is a key that differentiates the records in a file. The data stored in the key field is unique to a specific record. In each new table that you create, you'll want to set one field as the primary key. Access uses this key to relate records of this table to those of another table. A student record, for example, would use roll number as a key field because it uniquely identifies each student. Select the field that you want to set as the primary key. Click on the primary key button. The field will be set as the primary key, indicated by a small key symbol to the left of the field. The primary key is an on-off toggle. To remove it, select the primary key field and click on the primary key button again. Understanding Field Properties Each field has a set of properties that defines and controls it. These properties include defining its size and format, as well as rules for entries in it. Properties pane When a field is selected in design view, its properties appear in the lower pane. General tab 
the general tab contains most of the properties you will work with. Lookup tab. The lookup tab is primarily used for setting up lookup lists. Drop down list. Some properties have drop down lists from which you can select the option. Click the arrow to open the list. Property information. When the insertion point is in a property box, information about that property appears here. Yes, no properties. Some properties represent yes or no questions which have already been filled for you with default values. Setting field size properties. The default field size for a field with a data type of text is 255 characters. You can change this size in the range of 0 to 255 characters. Click on the field whose size you want to change. Click on general tab in the field properties area. Enter the new field size in the field size text box. Setting a default value. You can speed up data entry for fields that usually contain the same value by making that value as the default. For example, if 90% of students take Kathak as dance, you can make Kathak the default value in the dance field. Click on the field whose default value you want to set. Click on general tab in the field properties area. Click on the default value row. Type the default value. Access automatically adds quotation marks around what you typed if the data type is text. When you display the data sheet of the table, the default value appears in new records. Setting the field format. You can change the format of a field to update its appearance in a data sheet form and report. Click on the field whose format you want to change. Click on General tab. Click in the Format row. A drop-down menu arrow appears. Click drop-down menu arrow to choose the format that you want. For a number or auto number field, the choices represent different number types such as general, currency and percentage. For date and time data types, the choices appear as date and time format. For yes or no fields, the choices appear as ways of expressing yes or no. Certain field types such as short text, long text and hyperlink have no preset formats. Creating validation rules. A validation rule is used to limit a field entry to meet certain criteria. By validation rules, you can ensure that the correct value is entered into the field. If the user makes an incorrect entry, error alerts can stop the user, provide a warning or just provide information. Click on the field where you want to create validation rule. Click on general tab in the field properties area. Click on the validation rule row and type the validation rule in that row. Click in the validation text row and type the text for the error message. Here we have validated a rule that face should be equal to or more than 3000. In this example, we entered rupees 2000 although the rule says it should be more than or equal to 3000. In the data sheet view, if you enter a wrong entry or violate the rule, a custom error message appears containing the text you specified in the validation text row. Click on OK and then retype the field entry. Saving and closing the table. Table structure is now complete. The next step is to save the table in the database. You should give a name to the table before saving it. Once you have saved the table, you can continue working in the table window or close the window. Click on the Save button on the Quick Access toolbar. The Save As dialog box will appear. Type the name Students Detail in the Table Name box. Click on OK button. 
access saves the table and the table name appears in the object tab and navigation pane. Click on the close button to close the table. Adding records to a table. The first step is to create a table and save it. The second step is to add records to the table. The table must be open so that the records can be added to the table. The table is displayed in a data sheet view. In data sheet view, the table is represented as a collection of rows and columns called data sheet. Double click on table students detail in the dance class database window. You can close the navigation pane for more space for table. Type the ID number in the first student ID field. Press the tab key to complete the entry for the student ID field and move to name field. Type the following entries by pressing the tab key after each one to complete the record. After typing the last entry, for example fees, press the tab key. The insertion point comes to the student ID field in the second row. Add the remaining records by following the same steps you used to add the first record as in steps 2 to 4. When you finish entering data, click on save button to save the changes. Access saves the table and you can see the name of the table in navigation pane. As per the project, records in the table are added and done. Finish.